let's look at how you set tabs when you're inside of a document. <clears throat> the first thing you really need to be sure is turned on are your rulers. If you don't see your ruler across the top and along the side, go to the menu word view and be sure that ruler is checked. Tabs are set by default at every five spaces across on your ruler. However, there are times when you want to set a specific tab in a certain place. You can set tabs by going over here to the tab icon on the left. It's always set by default to a left tab. When it's set on the left tab, if I click on the ruler, I'm going to try to put one right in the middle. When I click on it, then I get an L standing for left tab. I'm going to, t to insert today's date. Uh, date and time and we want the normal just the month and the day and the year on a, a letter like this you do not want to insert one of these other date formats I'm going to go to the next line and we're just going to illustrate the other kind of tabs when I go back to the side and click on the L one time it gives me a tab that looks like an upside down T this is a center tab. I'm going to put the center tab right at, I'll put it at 2. Click on the tab icon again and you get a right tab. I'll put a right tab over on 6. Click it again and you have uh, what looks like a center tab but it's got a little dot in it. This is a decimal tab. I'll put a decimal tab over here at about 4.5 six or seven. So I'm going to tab over to the first one which is a center tab and type my name. Tab to the next, well that was my left tab, we'll just skip over and tab to the decimal tab and this is where you would put in any number that has a decimal. Going to the right tab when you tab to a right tab, um, the things back up from that tab. Let's put on one more tab because there is one more on here that's called a bar tab. And we're going to click that one just right as close as we can get to the end of the ruler and then drag it over to the edge. And what you will notice a bar tab does is to literally put a line on your page wherever that bar tab is. So when I go to the next line, it automatically adds another piece of the bar tab. I'm just going to tab over to my decimal tab to show you that it does line up. So it will line up at the tab. And that's how you set tabs using the tab icon.